At first glance, this equation looks pretty tough, but if you remember your properties of exponents and use them in the opposite way you're used to, we can make this much more manageable. Since 2 to the 3x is the same as 2 to the x cubed, we can see that there's a 2 to the x happening twice. This makes it very convenient to do a substitution. Let's just say y is 2 to the x. Then our equation becomes y cubed plus y equals 222. Now, maybe this looks a lot tamer, and indeed it is, but it's still a third degree polynomial, which in general is not all that easy to solve. Fortunately for us, this actually factors. We can factor it by grouping, rewriting this as four terms rather than three, although we do it in a way you're not quite used to doing probably. We have to notice 222 is 37 times six. Why is that important? Well, 37 minus 6 squared, or 37 minus 36, is 1. And that happens to be the coefficient of the middle term. Which, on the surface, feels like nothing, but once we split it up like this, once we rewrite 1y as minus 36y plus 37y, we can factor a y out from the first two terms, and a 37 out from the second two terms. This is typically what you have to do with factoring by grouping, but we have to go one additional step here. y squared minus 36 is a difference of squares. It factors into y plus 6 times y minus 6, and now we can see the magic happening. There's a factor of y minus 6 in both terms. Now that y minus 6 is a common factor, we can factor that out, and we can even distribute what's left. This is something we can definitely solve. A product equaling 0, either the first one is 0 or the second one is 0. Both of these are equations which can be solved relatively easily. Looking at the second piece, the quadratic equation, we could just use the quadratic formula a is 1, b is 6, and c is 37 here. Throw them into the quadratic formula. However, you'll notice that under the square root, we're going to have a negative result. And if we're only considering real numbers for this problem, this piece has no real solution. So our only solution is where y minus 6 is 0, or y equals 6. Now, if you recall, near the start, we said that y was 2 to the x. So resubstitute that, 2 to the x is 6, or using properties of logarithms, x would be log base 2 of 6.